Hi, I'm Mike Grola with RJG, and we're here today to talk about the cycle graph. Uh, this will be the first of a series of short videos where we take and break down the cycle graph into each of its components to help you understand uh, better how to read and interpret the, the data. Uh, for most users, uh, the, the first time they see the cycle graph, it can be very intimidating. Uh, there's a lot of curves, a lot of color, a lot of movement, and there's just so much information that's packed into, uh, in, into what you're seeing here that it can be, be overwhelming at first. So our objective uh, in this series of videos is to break this down step by step and help you understand how to read each of the curves uh, and uh, to, to, to pick out the general uh, features in the cycle that they are representing. So the part we're molding today is a fairly simple part. It is a single cavity uh, cold runner uh, part we have uh, two sensors located inside of this mold, one near the gate and one near the end of cavity. Uh, we know that that location is near the end of the cavity because we've made a, a fill only part where we can see the last point of fill, the short shot, and uh, the sensor uh, is located as close as we can get to that last point of fill. Um, by uh, our, our typical standard is to show the post gate curve in green and the end of cavity curve in blue and, uh, and that's the way that they'll be shown on the graph. Uh, the way we read cavity pressure data in the, in the part typically is to locate a sensor behind a moving ejector pin. So the ejector pin is located here on the part and the sensor is located behind the ejector pin. And so as the plastic flows into the mold, it flows over the ejector pin, pushes on the ejector pin, transmits that load to the sensor, and this way we're able to read the pressure inside the cavity. So that's an overview of the part we're molding and the sensors that we're using to, uh, to monitor the cavity pressure inside the mold. Let's talk for a moment about the sensors that are used on the press because there's information that we want to we wanna see there. There's two sensors that we use on the press. Uh, the first one is the injection pressure sensor and this is located at the back of the injection unit is measuring the the pressure uh, that it takes to push the injection unit forward and move material uh, into the cavity uh, so so this is uh, this is the first of our two sensors the other one that is is very important is the screw position so as we can see on this indicator, uh, the, 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 the screw's moving during the cycle. And we have a sensor back here with a little string that is retracting and uh, coming back uh, into this sensor. So, so this stroke sensor here allows us to see the, uh, the, the screw position or the stroke uh, on the cycle graph. So that's a brief overview of the part that we're molding, the sensors that we're using today, and uh, so we will uh, we'll start breaking down the cycle graph uh, step by step and showing you how it's used and how to interpret the data.